the sounds that, that, that uh, were being produced. Um, that was in and of itself good enough. Um, and uh, as it progressed, you know, certainly there's what you can say a spiritual side, uh, uh, an interior side to music. I remember watching her play, I was maybe four or five years old. Um, and was fascinated by what I was hearing and, and the sounds that she could produce. It just, it seemed like magic. Um, and I in, also enjoyed just the mechanics of the piano, looking at the inside. Uh, I, I like watching how the hammers would move, uh, just the mechanism itself. Um, being, being a small kid, it was such a, a, a huge instrument, you know. Uh, so it was kind of awe-inspiring, and uh, so I, I started picking melodies off the radio uh, at around that age. Um, and the mother noticed that I was doing that, um, and I think started teaching me out of some basic books. Eddie Van Halen, the rock guitarist, uh, had a quote. Uh, I heard on an interview once, where he talked about music, uh, music can be work, but you never want to work the music. Um, and I've, I understood uh, immediately what he was talking about, um, that the music shouldn't be burdened uh, or labored over. Uh, there still should be a spirit of uh, freedom within it. Beethoven once said about his own music that it was from the heart to the heart. And uh, that ultimately is, is the communication or expression that uh, uh, I'm aware of and, and I hope to uh, make when I'm playing music. If I have a pattern, I tweak it. If um, other people are looking at what, what I'm doing, they say, how did, how did you do that? How did you come up with that? Uh, that's a part that, that really attracts me to it. I never thought I would quilt, never, never, never. And then I moved here and the neighbor is a master quilter. Well, she took me under her wing and that was 12 years ago and I have been quilting up a storm. The art form itself is so unique to each person. With quilting, there, there are three major variables. There's the pattern, you know, how you put the pieces together. There's the fabric and the colors and the texture of the fabric. And then there's a final quilting piece where you put all three layers together and quilt a pattern over that. And I have done exactly the same quilt in two different fabrics uh, in switching out only the light and the dark in the placement and the pattern and you wouldn't know they were the same quilt. And that's the part that intrigues me. After our beloved puppy died, I needed to quilt. I didn't want to do anything else but quilt. I wanted to just focus on the, the colors and putting them together and getting it right. And the pattern that I chose is one I will call a shattered window because the lines go in different directions. I love it when it messes with your head that you have to look and see where the pattern is. I think that's kind of the person that I am. I, I kind of like messing with heads a bit, but it's my shattered quilt because there's so much grief in that. 
So sometimes quilting is about surprising joy. God is definitely in that creation component of things. What touches my soul, what touches my heart, um, surprises even me. And I begin to form this until, you know, this may sound kind of crazy, but until God says, oh yeah, I've got it. And then I put it together. Right at the end of making the quilt, you have to bind it. You put a, a thin piece of fabric around all the edges and then you sit there and hand sew it on. Now, when you do that, you have the quilt on your lap, maybe for days. And for me, that's when I put the love into the quilt. So when that quilt is given away, uh, it's given with a lot of love into it. And I like that. I think that's a God component also.